Hello everyone, I'm John, this is Sean. Alright. And this is Everyday Food Reviews. Boom. Today, we've got two more flavours of X Gamer. Yep. Uh, we've got Fuzzberry and Gummylicious. Wow. They sound good. Yep. Uh, so, Fuzzberry is a kiwi and strawberry flavour, Gummylicious is a sweet gummy bears flavour. If you want Ooh. more detail about X Gamer and our discount code, which is EFR10, then watch the previous video up here. But <laughs> yeah, it was uh, uh, maybe posted either a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months ago. Who knows when this is going? Yeah, well, that, that video went up about an hour ago, but we don't know when this one will go up, is, is the thing. Um, so it's the 16th of November, so there you go, you can... Uh... <laughs> We recorded um, that on the 15th of November, the day Lewis Hamilton won his 7th World Championship. Yeah. Oh, I, and, thank... um... oh, go, go. I was just going to say I want to thank uh, Rich, who's commented on the video already. I've, I've seen it, I've not replied, but he said that he already buys from X Gamer and he's going to use our discount code. So that's nice. That's what a guy. Very nice of him, so cheers. Nice um... one, man, Rich. <laughs> yeah, what a guy. Yeah. Uh, right, let's get straight into it. We spoke, we spoke loads. It was like a... 27 minute video on X Gamer. Uh, ended up being 22 because I managed to cut out a lot of the nonsense. Cut out the nonsense, <laughs> sped up the uh, <laughs> the horrible, obnoxious shaking. Uh, do we want Fuzzberry or Gummylicious first? Oh, Fuzzberry. Let's do Fuzzberry. Fuzzberry. Yeah. I've just had a load of dim sum for breakfast, so. Summit fruity to finish it off. Yeah, these um, the packets oh, don't, glasses. don't tear quite as cleanly as I might like. Sorry? I think, the glass, I think the glasses are in the dishwasher. Okay. Can I get them? I think you might need to. Alright, so, yeah. You might have to just cut my bit out. <laughs> well, I'll cut both of it out because of the timeline. Yeah, one thing with these X Gamer packets, um, the they can be a bit difficult to open. I've just got a, a an old Stanley blade on my desk that I'm using to cut that open. Yeah, they they, they do have little tear off things, but we, she's we, a good egg. We we found uh, yesterday that the tear off things don't always work so well. Um, this. Like, look, you tear it off like that and it just splits in the middle. Yeah. They're not, they're not the best. I don't think that's going to be a massive inconvenience, It isn't, though. but it's but, like, it's like that time when, what was it? Was it razor wire when I opened it and it just went... Yeah. Yeah, she's a good egg. She, the, the glasses are at the front. Cool. With the dishwasher. So I've actually just washed this and forgot to get the little insert. Oh, that's, that's, that's a good, uh, good test. Yeah, I, I noticed when I went to put the powder in. I've also made this with only 300 mil of water because when, when we did the video uh, from yesterday, it, it was a little bit weak. Thanks for that warning. Well, you were there yesterday. I know, but I, <laughs> I thought we were just gonna do 400 mil. Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> but you can see that still dissolved absolutely perfectly in only 300ml with no shaker insert or anything and I had about two or three shakes on that, I wasn't shaking it very long at all and it, it's just fantastic. Fantastic! <laughs> Cheers for that Gary. What's it smell like? Uh, it smells like <coughs> strawberry and kiwi I think. <laughs> it, it it smells quite faint. What what do you mean, Gary? Is that a sports reference or something? <laughs> no, it no. was a Gary Barlow reference. Gary Barlow. Yeah. Is that is that the one from that, Take That? Yeah. Okay. Because he's like proper, like not. I think he's like northern, and he goes absolutely fantastic. <laughs> oh, does he? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone takes the mic out of me. <laughs> X Gamer. Let's not get off topic that off off uh, off topic this is he, early. Is he not from Stoke, same as Robbie Williams? Yeah, like you. 
Yeah, that's not that's south of you. That's about an hour south of you. Yeah, it's only about ten minutes north of you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that smells good. That. Cheers. That's a very mm. sweet strawberry flavour. Even with four hundred ml of water, I'm pretty impressed with that. Yeah. I'm. I'm not getting much in the way of kiwi. No, it's a. Uh... It is very much strawberry. It tastes like a just a, a very sweet strawberry squash. Mm. Which uh, I'm I'm not a big strawberry squashes aren't that good to be fair. So and I think that's an insult okay. to X gamer. Okay, fair enough. Because I love strawberry flavors. Yeah. And uh, yeah, some of them are just. What What would you liken this to? Because I'm not big on strawberry flavors, so it's something I tend to avoid. Um, I don't know, I don't write down all my experiences, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, what would I liken that to? Don't know. I don't, it seems like, again, like the one we had yesterday, the, uh... Oh, it's, just, it's like, it reminds me of like a, like a really nice ice cream. Yeah, I was going to say like an ice pop. It's smooth. It's, it's not creamy, obviously, but... Yeah. Because it's a bit thicker in the mouth. You think so? It's yeah. I don't okay. think it's. I don't. I don't think it's. I think it's lovely, and I think you're probably enjoying it more with three hundred ml water. Mm. It it is very sweet, um, but it's, then it's, it it's a strawberry flavour. But uh, as with all the X Gamer flavours so far, it's very very clean and it is dissolved perfectly. Mm. So it's got that going for it. I love a thing about what I can liken it to, right. <laughs> um, so we've got Gummy Licious, which is a gummy bear flavour. So we, we would expect this to not be so clean. These packets are... Oh, they grind me up. I've I'm I'm usually pretty got... I've got pretty good dexterity, but these, these packets mug me off. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like I've, I've just tear it, I've torn it off, and I've gone deeper than with the tear off, and it, it's still not open. I had the opposite, mine's just gone like straight down the, the seam in, in the middle there. Just but it, it's, it's open, that's the main thing I suppose. Classlessly rip it off of my teeth. <laughs> I did that on the first one. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think anyone's expecting any more from us. To be fair. I expect more from us. <laughs> Ooh. So I did this one with just 300 ml of water. Well, I'm guessing after John's initial complaints, he still didn't rectify anything. Well, no, because I had already had a shaker full of water. Okay. <laughs> I should have just drank some out there, shouldn't I? Well, you, an idiot. You, <laughs> well, yeah, you sat next to a sink as well. Uh, it's blue again. Yeah, it's it's very blue. It's more blue than the blue bubble. So we've had two fla four, four flavors: two red, two blue. Yeah. It's it smells very strongly of something, but I wouldn't necessarily call it gummy bears. It pr probably smells more strongly than any of the others we've had so far. Mine doesn't either. I've not shook it. Oh, there's a bit more. This one's got. It looks like there's a couple of little crystals that haven't dissolved in there. Uh, yeah. From experience, I'm going to say that's some of the taurine. Um, based on the appearance. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I'll move that shaker out of the way <laughs> so you can see me. Uh, that's good. I like that one. It does remind me of gummy bears. It's mm. not like when you first bite into them. Is that like initial like syrupy flavor? Yeah, and you know, you know, like the white ones, the pineapple flavored ones. Yeah, it, they, it's got that coming through more than anything to me. Yeah, yeah. And they're, they're the best ones. Yeah, that's that's really quite good. Hmm. 
Right yeah. then. Yeah, I like that one. X Gamer are really impressing me. <laughs> like the flavors are actually really good. Yeah. It was and same. like you say, it dissolves so well. Like there, there is a bit. Let's be honest. You, you, you know, it's gonna be hard to get rid of all of the stuff. All of the stuff. You know, not everything is very dissolvable. Well, I, I deliberately only shook it a tiny little bit just to try and prove a point. Yeah, um, and there's a little bit in the in my glass left, but nothing, absolutely nothing compared to say some of the other brands. Like you, <clears throat> you know, you like drink it almost finished. You kind of have to yeah. swill it to try and get the rest of it. Yeah, because you 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 worried about like oh I've just had had a scoop of this and everything's meant to be dosed, but I, I don't know how much of everything is in that little bit there. You know that 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 could be most of what I meant to have just had doses of. Yeah. You know, and you have to drink it from the shaker so you can shake it in between sips and that sort of thing. Um, I'm really impressed. I like I'm, I'm liking these a lot. Yeah, you and said value for money is as we spoke about in our first video is really good. Yeah. I think you said yesterday, didn't you? Um, you've not bought a tub of of anything that we've looked at so far. No, you were I'm, looking at. I'm considering. I'm still considering uh, strawberry sweet millions mm. because that is far and away the most insane flavor ever created. <laughs> but I'm, I'm I'm so impressed. That's that's as, as much as I am impressed with XQ, That is number one in terms of. <laughs> flavor and nothing else. Yeah, and the child and the childhood memories it evokes. <laughs> it is that it is crazy how oh, good it is. And I'm saving a sachet for a friend of mine. Mm. He actually yeah, he, he does a bit of work for G Fuel on the website. Oh yeah, yeah. So and, and I was like, you know, and he's seen Sneak obviously and the other ones, but I guess his loyalties have to lie with G Fuel. And that's <laughs> fair enough, that's fine. Yeah. You know, if he's getting if he's can't, if he's like if he's like freelance work for him, that's fine. But I said I have to save you. So I've got one sachet left of it, and it's being saved. Do I want it? Oh yeah, <laughs> I want to drink it. But yeah, maybe I should just buy it up and just stop being cheap. The the point I was trying to make was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. See, that's what that flavor does to me, though. That's what that. I'm sorry. This is the next game of video. You, you said yesterday after the video, you you look at getting a tub of this because it, it's so much cheaper. Yes, value for money wise, twenty five quid for sixty servings. It's thirty for sixty servings, but thirty quid for sixty servings. If that you, is cheaper than even when you buy G Fuel on Bog Off. Yeah, when I get the G Fuel on buy one get one free, it works out about twenty two pound a tub for forty servings. So that's just over fifty p a serving. This works out fifty p a serving before any discounts. You can buy five tubs at once for something like one hundred and thirty quid. You can use our discount for ten percent off. You can probably go on Google and find a twenty percent off voucher. Crazy. And you're Absolutely looking at twenty four pound plus postage for a tub. Um, I said it yesterday. And I'm going to say again, I'm looking forward to the other flavours and mm. 30 quid for 60 servings. Just to have in the house. Yeah. So I don't have to go to the local shop and have to get a monster if I, excuse me if I don't want to. Like, that's what's great about having I've still got the tub out of the Wraith. Used it a couple of times. Don't want to go out. Weather's a bit crap. Can't bother getting my shoes on. Go in the shop and buy the monster. Have a Wraith. Yeah. It's more caffeine than any monster that they sell in the shop. So why not? I think but what, what, I, what my plan for this... Because like I've I've had all the G fuel I've had the 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 wraith and everything, but my plan for this because it's something I've wanted to do with the other flavors. But as I said, that that they are great. I think I think personally, every every brand we've looked at has its merits and its advantages. Um, yeah. But something I haven't felt I can do with the others is I've got a two liter jug I keep in the fridge, and I either make Kool Aid or make iced tea. Um, I'd like to make yeah. I'd like to make an energy drink, but it's it does it's not a shaker jug, you know it's it's, it's just a jug, so a carafe. Yeah, I, I would <laughs> I would like to make up some G fuel 
or sneak or something and have that in the two litre thing and then every morning I can just pour it from the jug instead of having to get a shaker and a glass every day or just a shaker yeah. and then sit because I, I don't like sitting uh, at work working from home with the laptop with the plastic shaker I prefer to have a glass or a mug plus it doesn't look good if you have to have a quick video meeting I don't mind that so much well, uh, but then my, girl, my girlfriend does. She, you know, she she likes energy drinks. Um, she can't get away from them, obviously being with me. And uh, <laughs> but uh, but she'll put she she'll put her Monster Absolute Zero in like a a coffee glass. You know, like your DeLonghi ones. Yeah. You've got the like little coffee ones that you get in like the machine, the Bosch with the Bosch machines and stuff like that. And she'll put her monster in that because it actually just looks like tea. <laughs> so she, yeah. so it doesn't look as crude as a kind of monster. Or like you said, a shaker cup full of weirdly coloured liquid. Yeah, I think for, for the sort of job I do, that's not a concern, but I can see how that, that might be a concern. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, I'd, with, with the X game, you don't need to shake it all the time. So I'd put five scoops in there, fill, fill the jug halfway, and yeah. you know, every morning I'll have one of these glasses or one of those little coffee glasses, two hundred mil or something, and that's my hundred and fifty, two hundred milligrams of caffeine. Uh, it, it, and it's it's just in the fridge ready to go. Day. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to wash a, a shaker and a glass every time. It's just washing a glass exactly the same as if I had a coffee or something. Absolutely. Uh, so, you know, and obviously that's working out even cheaper than any of the other options, even if I was to do that and just ignore the sediment and stuff, it's working out, it's actually, I think, working out only a little bit more expensive than the coffee that I put in the coffee machine. So I like yeah. the, the Starbucks whole bean stuff. Yeah. So, you know... But like, and like you say, you can't put the others in the jug. We'll get back on topic, back on your point. Yeah. You can't do that with the others because of the amount of stuff that will collect in the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't want to shake the jug up and have it spill everywhere and that sort of thing. No. So. That's that's my plan for this. I'm going to get a tub of the Horus when it's back in stock. That's a new flavour. Oh. So <laughs> we've got... But how many flavours have we got left to try then? So I've got three in the cupboard, and you've still got three in your cupboard, and mm -hmm. there's the Horus that neither of us got. Yeah. And one of the three that we've got left, the other person hasn't got it. So you've not got Zombri. Yeah. And mm. I've not got... Blue Nitro. There you go. But we've got uh, Cape Town and Hyper Beast to look at. So, I'm, <laughs> right, you might have to cut that bit no, out, because no, I've it's... spoiled it. Spoiler alert! <laughs> We can cut that bit out. Just cut it up to what I say and then we can say, oh no, I cut that bit out. Spoiler alert. Okay? Okay. Excellent. <laughs> oh, I, I, right, I, I don't so know if it matters. Let's, let's wrap it up. We've gravity gone along. We're, we're really, I think, sums it up. We really like it. We're really impressed. Thank you yeah. very much for joining us. See you next time. Uh, one one thing, if, oh. if, if X Gamer are watching, um, just work on the the serration on on the packets make them a bit easier to open that's the it's good it's in a way it's good the, the worst thing about a gamer is the packets are a bit unruly yeah uh, uh, i've got just over here just a sec part of the problem if we look at this packet of sneak it's got little incisions there and you just tear it straight open this is a foil pack but it's, it's just that, straight that open. That pack is very similar to the Wraith pack, and because yeah. because the top the, because of the the tear off is wider instead of thinner. Well, no, I think I think what the problem I'm finding is this is sealed either side, so it just tears straight across. This is sealed at the back yeah, instead we have of on both issue. sides. To be fair, we have the same so, issue with the G Fuel sachets as the X Gamer sachets. Yeah. They're not the easiest to tear off, whereas I think where it's a wider tear off because it's sealed on the other sides. Well, when when you open this, it's it's serrated halfway across, so you tear it. But then the bit you're trying to tear it is actually the seal at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you it's all can't tear and it. Whatever. That that's it's sealed you... really tight. It's harder to peel up, peel apart. Yeah. It, it might be more difficult to make these elongated sort of. Um, 
tubular sachets rather than the square ones but personally I'd rather have a square one with a wider mouth that's easier to open because I get why you do this with the narrow mouth it's easier to pour into a bottle or something but with this with the wide mouth if you can open it cleanly that's still going to be easier because you can just funnel it you can just pinch it and funnel pinch, it into pinch, a bottle yeah, yeah. which you can't do with this because that's how it opens uh, that's that's our feedback yeah <laughs> But it's true, people don't think about it unless they go, like, you know, unless they do it. Yeah. And like I said, we do have the same issue with the G Fuel sachets, so it's not like literally it's limited to X Gamer, but then we don't have that issue when we've got the Wraith and the Sneak sachets, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but on that note, we will end this time. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>